quarantine and they're really eager to get back on the mats. So I came up with this little routine to help us work on our shoulder mobility and use our belts at the same time. So it gives you a reason to put your belt back on, I guess. Your shoulders are very compromised in jujitsu due to the rounding effect all the time. So we want to find a way to open our shoulders back up so that way we are not also more susceptible to injuries, but we're also can go the full range of motion during submissions and allow us to hopefully prevent the submission. All right, so let's start simple with a simple warm up. We're going to easily just come into a prayer pose like this. Then we're going to come up. And then you see right here how my elbows are pointing forward. I want to drive my hands above my head. Come back and then down. Come up, drive the hands back above the head, and then come down. One more time, up and back. Good, all right. Okay, side to side. Now I know like this is not really warming up the shoulders, but it's gonna help release the tension in our necks so that way we can focus on moving our shoulders more appropriately, okay? All right, so now we're gonna take our thumbs or our fingertips if possible, and we're gonna try to touch our, our shoulders. Look at this, see how tight I am on this side compared to this side? So these are common areas that we don't address. So we're going to try to touch our shoulders and we're gonna do shoulder rolls. We'll go in and out, in and out. Do one at a time. If you do two at a time, you won't get a good range of motion because your upper back muscles are going to hit. All right? So we want this to move freely as it can. This is also help allowing the scapula to move around the rib cage in the back, which is very important and for jiu-jitsu and for life, all right? Now we're gonna go back to front. That one should be a lot easier. Really focus on driving your elbow high to the sky, like that, all right? Good, all right, so now we're going to bring our hands, thumbs back above our heads and then we're going to top them down like this. And we're going to almost like push our head down, but yet elongate our spine by pushing our arms up. Now, what we're trying to do here is I'm trying to feel almost like everything is rising, but I don't want my shoulders to hike, okay? but I want my whole spine to elongate out. Good, all right. Now that one move right there is phenomenal for spinal health. If you can actually just do it three times a day, do your best to hold the move for a minute to two minutes at a time, trying to stretch the spine and really focus on breathing, okay? Now, another thing you want to do is Make sure as we go through all these movements, which there won't be many, this is a simple, quick little warm up just to kind of get you back touching your equipment that you love so much, to focus on our breathing. We never want to breathe in through our mouth or even out through our mouth if necessary, okay? Always in through the nose, out through the nose. Second option is in through the nose, out through the mouth, okay? And that's only to help reclaim ourselves back in and out through the nose, okay? So, we're gonna take our belt. All right. The good old trick that you learned when you were kids, okay? You're gonna get about shoulder width slightly outside of the shoulder. We're gonna come up above the head and feel if you can go back any further, all right? All right, 
So that's about as far as back I can get, okay? So then I'm gonna come back down. If you're going all the way behind you, then you need to shorten up your grip, okay? That's not the goal at this point, all right? So right outside shoulder width, and we're getting right to that breaking point where if I went a little bit further out, I could go behind my back at this point, all right? Remember, we want to hike those shoulder blades back and down, squeeze the shoulder blades, and really poke your chest out. And then come back down. Deep breath in. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and loosen up that grip just enough to where we can get behind our backs just like when we were children. And we're gonna go all the way, all the way in. Good stretch. As you can see, oh, that was a little tight for me. I am doing uh, palms down, okay? So it looks like it's palms facing you. It's really a palms down and then I'm Rotating all the way over. I'm going to stretch all the way. Oh, I've got some bad shoulders there. See why it's so important to do this? Sometimes I have to loosen up a little bit to get it. It's very easy when you have a stick. It's a lot more difficult with a belt. The trick to this is when we're in this motion to start pulling the belt apart. Pull it apart, all right? And that's gonna allow you to come back over, all right? Now, here we go. Make sure it's still nice and wide for us to go all the way back, except now we are going to pull the belt apart and lean forward. Good, all right, all right, kind of shake that out a little bit. Shake it out, Just some shoulder rolls. Okay, so now we're gonna start back with a palm down grip, which would be palms facing you. I'm sorry, my palms facing you. Outside shoulder width, we're gonna go up above our head this time we are gonna hike our shoulders up and then hike them down. Hike them up and hike them down. Try not to get into the groove of falling forward. Stay above. Try to keep your ears in line with your arms. Good. All right. Okay, so now keep your hands in the same position. We're gonna rise up. Keep this hand right there. Drop this one down about another foot. And then we're going to lean to the side. Now, I don't want my arm to come in front of my face. I want it to come behind my back. And come all the way over. The good thing about the rope is it allows to really pull and get a good tight stretch. You should feel it stretching over your tricep all the way down your lat and to your hip. You can tighten up or loosen up the grip at any point to help you out. Come up.
so we've been doing palm down. This is gonna be a tricky one, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start now with a palm up, okay? But we're gonna take our belt and we're gonna pass it behind us, all right? You can start with a shoulder width. I can't, it's just entirely too difficult for me at this point. Um, I like to go a little bit outside the shoulder. I'm going to straighten my belt out, okay? Nice and tight, all right? And I'm going to bring my arms back towards the wall away from me while pulling my belt and raising my arms up high. Don't let your head sag forward. Hold it and focus on your breathing. You should look like this. Back down. Deep breath. And again. This time we're going to lean forward. Lean towards what our chest allowing the belt to come up. Good. Okay. So now we'll put our belt back to the front. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come out into a cactus pose, except we're now going to slightly Bend our elbows out further, and we're gonna keep our hands kind of like a teacup, all right? And we're gonna bend from side to side very lightly. And I'm gonna work on rotating internally. Don't, don't bend them, just keep them set. And then out. And then out. To scissor. I'm rotating top hand to bottom to top to bottom. I'm going to allow myself to really just kind of let my arms swing and then I'm going to slowly work my way. Thank you for joining me. I know we're all eager to get back on the mats. This is a wonderful time to get back with what you've earned and you spent so much blood, sweat, and tears for. So it's here for you. Use it. I hope you enjoy this little routine. If you have a exercise that you like, that you would like for me to show, or if you liked any of these specific exercises, go ahead and please comment below like and subscribe to all my channels on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, and look out for all my programs to come. Thank you so much.